Dr. Anthony Fauci, who was a top coronavirus advisor to Presidents Trump and Biden, spent 14 hours testifying to Congress in a closed door meeting right down this hallway. And Republicans and Democrats who are in the room told us that he's open to the possibility that the coronavirus pandemic began with a lab leak. He has been open and continues to be open today as to where this originated from. Was it from, a, not, was it from an animal or was it from a lab? He also seemed to agree that uh, he was open to the fact that this could be, um, which we, we believe is a lab leak uh, theory. Uh, I think he's playing semantics a little bit with the definition of what a lab leak is. Um, but that seems to be a little different than what he has said in the past. It seemed like he was more wanting to suppress the lab leak theory uh, and say that this was from natural origins. Fauci spent two full days testifying before the House Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic. And while we don't know everything that he said in private, the committee's chairman told reporters that it's clear Fauci didn't know everything that was taking place at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases while he was the director. Chairman Brad Winstrup said Dr. Fauci testified that he signed off on every foreign and domestic NIAID grant without reviewing the proposals and that he was unable to confirm if NIAID has any mechanisms to conduct oversight of the foreign laboratories they fund, which would include whether gain-of-function research was happening. That's important because it gets back to two key questions that Fauci has been asked for years. One, did the coronavirus pandemic start in nature or did it start with a lab leak? And two, did the United States government fund what's called gain-of-function research in China? Senator Rand Paul famously pressed him on this in 2021. Gain-of-function research, as you know, is juicing up naturally occurring animal viruses to infect humans. To arrive at the truth, the U.S. government should admit that the Wuhan Virology Institute was experimenting to enhance the coronavirus's ability to infect humans. Dr. Fauci, do you still support funding of the NIH funding of the lab in Wuhan? Senator Paul, with all due respect, you are enti entirely and completely incorrect that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute Do they fund of Dr. Barrick? Wenstrup also accused Fauci of plain semantics with the meaning of gain-of-function research and said Fauci testified that he, quote, did not recall more than 100 times when asked about COVID information or specific conversations. Wenstrup said in a statement, Dr. Fauci's testimony today uncovered drastic and systemic failures in America's public health systems. While leading the nation's COVID-19 response and influencing public narratives, he simultaneously had no idea what was happening under his own jurisdiction at NIAID. Dr. Fauci declined to comment when asked about Wenstrup's description of the meeting. Democrats inside the room say the Republicans are distorting what Fauci really said. They were disinformation. They did not reflect the discussion that I, I was feeling at the end of the day when I left here that it had been a respectful discussion. What Tony Fauci did yesterday was to lay out what the grant review process is. So what's the point of interviewing Fauci after he's already left his government job? Well, the committee's chairman says it's about getting to the bottom of what happened with COVID-19 and preparing for the next pandemic. And if we're going to have this possibility of something able to be made in a lab and the possibility of something able to come from nature, then we should have a structure set up and immediately once there's some kind of an outbreak, we deal with that scientifically.